cannulas come in all different shapes, sizes and colours and sometimes working out the difference between them can be really confusing. If you can understand which cannula you're using and why you're using it, it's going to increase your confidence for the procedure. Here's everything you need to know about understanding cannulas. First off, all cannulas are going to have some sort of sheath on them that you're going to need to remove when you're ready to start. Most cannulas, but not all of them, have some wings on and these are just to help you hold the cannula steady as you insert it. Most cannulas also have a plastic bung on the end. Some people just ignore this completely and don't remove it. Some people remove it. I remove it before I start, but I'm not sure that there's any basis to that. It's probably just a habit that I've picked up. So the cannula is a plastic tube and inside that tube there's a needle. The needle's a bit longer than the plastic tube and it's got a bevel on the end. So when you put the needle and the cannula into the skin, make sure you've got the bevel facing up. And when you go into the skin and then you hit a vein and you get some flashback, remember that that needle stick out a bit longer so you're going to need to push in a little bit beyond the flashback uh, to make sure that that plastic tubing is actually inside the vein and not just the needle. Some cannulas are safety cannulas and that means that when you pull the needle out of the plastic tubing a safety catch opens. The aim of this is to stop you getting a needle stick injury but it also stops you reinserting the cannula once you've taken it out. So with safety cannulas just make sure that you're happy with the position that the cannula is in before you withdraw the needle. Make sure you choose the right size and colour of cannula so cannulas are colour coded according to size. For a child you're likely to use a yellow which is 24 gauge in a neonate or an infant and sometimes I use these in children up to five or six. It's really going to depend not so much on the age specifically but more on what their veins look like, what the cannula is needed for, how long it's going to be needed to be in. I use a blue cannula which is 22 gauge in an older child or if it's a child that needs to have IV contrast because a yellow cannula is going to be too small for this. Sometimes I use a pink one which is 20 gauge. That's usually in adult sized patients or patients who are really sick and therefore need a bigger line. Sometimes I'll use a bigger size if I'm using an antecubital vein rather than the back of the hand. Also have a look and check about different lengths because there's some brands now that have longer length needles if you've got a really chubby baby or you're going for a really deep vein. Now you've got all the information to be able to choose the cannula that you need and understand how to use it so you can go into the procedure feeling confident and prepared.